Hey yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on here? What do you mean what's going on? You got the Ottawa Senators jersey on. Yeah. Chad of the J. You have the OVO Canada Goose hat on. OVO Drake Toronto Canada Goose. Yeah. Bro, yeah. we're in the Great White North. What do you mean? Bro, the video, bro. The video. The video, man. Yo, cut this Canadian. Today, we're eating like Americans. I got the Juju. Yo, the Juju Smith, dog. Hashtag Merca, baby. Hashtag Merca. I mean, Swayze is already spending like. You already know. Like. LA over, baby. Over half his year in LA. LA. Over half his year in, in LA. But anyways, <laughs> like I said, guys, we're gonna vibe out today. All right, we're gonna be testing and trying out for the first time. Right, I never tried them before. The most classic dishes that were made in America. So right? Putin. So Putin. Maple syrup. Uh, beaver tail. Beaver tail. Beaver. Beaver tail. Beaver tail. Yeah. <laughs> for breakfast, we're gonna be having the most traditional chicken and waffles, bro. You've tried chicken Ooh, and waffles. Ooh, right? I love chicken and waffles. Have you been to Roscoe's? Twice in my life. LA lifestyle. So guys, me and Sean Ian from breakfast are gonna be making some Roscoe's chicken and waffles. For lunch, I'm gonna have my boy Swayze Baby. Swayze Baby. Yo, show me pretty things, bro. Let me get the lighting in this. What up, Swayze Baby? I haven't seen you guys in a bit because you know I've been modeling. Oh, look at this mac and cheese thing, bro. They already know I'm gonna oh, make fire mac and cheese. They already know they from already the packaging. Know. I'm gonna make fire right up. And guys, I'm gonna bring it back with Bong Yan because he won my pizza challenge. We're gonna make Chicago Ooh. deep dish pizza. He's making it? Me and Bong are gonna make it together. If you want me to eat like another country, you know, maybe we'll do Mexican food for a day. Maybe we'll do Ooh. English food, like British food, Australian, I don't know. You guys comment that down below and smash 15,000 thumbs up. I really want to hit 2 million subscribers, so help your boy out. Subscribe to the channel, let's hit 2 million. And yo, two million, let's baby. begin the video. All right, so we got our one cup of flour in there. We need four teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, Two teaspoons of baking powder heat, and the last, an eighth teaspoon of baking soda. So just a little bit. Okay, vibes, guys. So there we have our dry ingredients. So we're just gonna mix that up. Next, we need just an egg yolk. And we're just gonna get this little egg white out of here. The back and forth technique. So we're gonna add this in here. Perfect. Uh, looks like a big egg. <laughs> that literally just flopped in there. Add a half cup of milk. Bang. And a half cup of water. Mm. And bang. We're gonna mix this up. Oh. Next up, we need a teaspoon of canola oil, two tablespoons of melted butter. Oh, now it's gonna be nice and battery after this. Okay guys, the last step that we have to put in now is an egg white, not the yolk. Oh, just the egg white. Same technique, just yes. different location. Yeah, and different times. You know, I wouldn't have wasted the last one, but we couldn't put it in at that time. True. Look at this beautiful waffle mix. This is ready to go. We're gonna put that in. We're gonna try and time it so everything's done around the same time. But this is the OG part in the Child of J videos. Who remembers beating the meat, bro? Oh. We're going to bring that back. So we are going to take a nice, beautiful chicken fillets. We're just gonna slice it down the middle. Like so. We're just gonna get a nice, nice little half chicken breast here. We're gonna shape it up just so it cooks evenly. So this is gonna be one of our, our chickens. The most important part, circling back, is the beating your meat. This needs to get a little tender. You just gonna break it up a bit. It's a you know? gent gentle up. beating. A gentle beating. Yeah. Last time we were too rough, you know, we will break it out too much. This is just kind of to flatten it out. It's already flattening with just a little bit, to be honest. Oh. <sighs> I think I got Ow! All right, so guys, we're gonna take a cup of flour. And now guys grab a teaspoon of each ingredient. We really want to like make the chicken have some taste here, right? Not just flour. So we're gonna grab garlic salt, paprika for the color. We're gonna grab onion powder for taste and cayenne pepper for a little kick. Cayenne pepper is the spicy one. And there we have our dry spice. I'm nervous, Sean. I never made any of this stuff before. I made fried chicken, but never never for chicken and waffles. I never made a waffle in my life, bro. As long as one of them works, we're okay. We, we can <laughs> eat that. But if both are off, then, then I'm all zero. I'm all because the thing is, guys, I'm DIYing every single meal today because we're in Canada, bro. We can't buy these American meals, especially the good ones. Scoop in our first of the batter. Oh, okay, you know what? That should be enough for one. I'm gonna pray that that works. Back to our chicken. Put it in your dry rub. Shake any excess off. Next, sauce it in the egg wash. Oh, very nice. Shake as well. Any excess needs to come off. Oh, that's nice. This needs to go ham ski. Back in the dry rub. Back in the dry rub. Ask him how his day is going. Maybe, How's your day, Maybe a little more than friends, you know? <laughs> yeah, Sean likes to smooch his chicken. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Bop, bop. Okay, I have taken the chicken out of the oil. You can hear the flakes coming the off. Flakes. For our waffles, Sean. 
Let's check this out. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. The underside of a waffle is literally the most important part. Fucking let's go. So we're gonna split this up and let's have a taste on Yang. You know the vibe? You see it all. You see the incredible big dutty vibe. Need you to try a piece, buddy. Alrighty. This is how you know, because me, I will definitely exaggerate it to say it's way better than it actually is. I feel like Sean Yang will give a decently accurate representation. Oh, is the chicken cooked? Oh, nicely cooked. Nicely cooked. Oh my god, my heart is actually beating because this is the first time I've ever made anything like this and it's American food and it's the- Oh! A pretty high standard, my friend. I'll say the chicken, phenomenal. The bread from the waffle, a little like, uh, thick. A little- th it is thick. It's not fluffy and light, yeah, it's eh? it's not fluffy and light, but it's still bad. Overall, dumb vibes. Pull up, you get a lick of chicken and waffles, you head out. Fucking bad. But it's still good. It, dr it gets mm. drowned out. American food, you're a big bat. Next up for lunch, me and Ryan Swayze are gonna be cooking up the best, the most gourmet, the way grandma cooked it. Something you would have, it would be on your plate with that, potentially, with the nice fried chicken vibe. All right, guys, the first step to making mac and cheese at home, right? We wanna make it beautiful, like way better than crab dinner. You just boil some milk, five cups of milk, and Ooh. add your fresh, Macaroni. The it's American way. I've never seen anything Bro, like this. This is the American way, guys. So we're gonna let that boil and soak up as soon as the pasta's cooked. Ready for step two. That was good, no? That was blessed, no? A half cup of butter. Already looking No real cheese, nice. and it's, oh man. And now, guys, we're also going to sprinkle two cups of cheese. You know we like our cheese, even the, out in Canada. Out in Canada, we cheese people. We cheese people, guys. Americans so, a little bit more cheese. This is gonna be cheesy. It already looks done. I ought to eat this. Okay, we're Shake gonna take up. this off. And bring it over here. The packaging is insane, man. As if they knew. They already knew, bro. Next step, Ryan. We want to load our mac and cheese. Oh, bro, oh, this looks oh. good. Load it up, load it up. Make sure you, you know, we don't want to leave no extras, you know? I think that's good. Hey, eh? That's good. No. Bro, you can't say that. It's, oh, like, it's good, huh? You said oh, hey. Bro, I think it's, it's an American challenge, bro. I know, bro. You can't be saying A and what else do they think we say? Sorry. Sorry, like. So next up, Swayze baby. Oh, a layer of cheese on top. Of course. Oh my goodness. No, Swayze likes his extra cheese. You know, I'm a Canadian, <laughs> but I like. And then Swayze, we're not done yet, buddy. Just lightly, oh, lightly, lightly. This is the like American touch. You just want to put a little bit of breadcrumbs on it, not a lot. Look at those breadcrumbs. Oh man. Now Swayze, we're, we're, sho we're shoving that in. We gotta pop that in here Look for a nice broil. And when that's done, can you tell me what it's gonna be, Swayze? <laughs> I, I, I've been <laughs> Huh? It has been five minutes, five to ten minutes in the oven. And five it to looks ten? like our, oh, my our God. Mac. And cheese, oh baby. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yo, yo, let me get that in the light. Oh. Get Are it you good. Are you, bro, I already ate it in my mind. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh my goodness. Get a nice big up scoop. You hear that? Hear that crunch? You hear that? Oh. Ah! Oh my god, now that, my friends. Chad, you're one lucky guy. You know, I don't usually cheat on my diet, but for you, you forced me. Okay, you force me. So Ryan gets the first taste. We usually cook for Jack, like if you guys know the videos, but today's cooking for us. Is Jack a good chef? I don't really know. He's what? good at like tasting our food, but is he good? Let's see. <laughs> I'm American. It's good. I am American. Guy, I'm changing my nationality. Canada mac and cheese sucks compared to this. Oh my god. Is it good? <laughs> oh my god, 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 god. <laughs> Did you need this right now? You're hungry, guys. Bro. Ryan just came here from Toronto on a five hour train ride. I'm going, this makes me want to go back to LA. Like, don't kill me. No, no, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. We gotta, we gotta chill. Guys, Sean is also eating a, a healthy meal. Wow, this guy's having this. It's for my friend's video. <laughs> <laughs> Alive, that whole bowl. Oh, there you go. You can try some of his bowl. A little bit. Oh, one little bite. <laughs> oh, they traded, they traded. Ah. Yes. It's nice and hard. Oh, 
Oh, it looks good. This is my first time ever eating ever. Bro, it's a different vibe. That's way better than normal mac and cheese. 20 times better. This was not hard to make. So like creamy, but cheesy. It tastes a lot, very cheesy. Very cheesy. <laughs> this, this ain't no craft dinner. Mm. Americans, you're so lucky. Take in the, I, I can make this every day, but we can't buy it anywhere. Anywhere. It. All right, there you have it. That was lunch for the day. I think we gotta say meal number two was a success. And like, if you need me for dinner, like, I might be free. Like, I'll try <laughs> to make up my schedule open for you, but. Oh, you're gonna be free, huh? Mm -hmm. You can't say, hey. You can't say sorry, you can't say hey. But, you say yo, no? actually, I did, I did. So, I gotta take the hot you sauce. You have to take the hot sauce every time you say, hey? Yeah, we're sorry. Mm, well. mm, oh, I need oh to that, that. I need to get some. <coughs> that's, that's actually kind of good. Mm, mm. Let's get on to dinner. Okay, it's been about an hour since we finished some mac and cheese, which was easily the best meal of the day so far. Up next, we're gonna try a classic American mm. snack. You buy it at the grocery store. It's white. Starts with a T. Twinkies. Oh. Some vibes, bro. Like Tom Brady. <laughs> Have you ever tried a Twinkie? I have not. Oh my god! I always call these big people or fat snacks. Like, like it's, Loki, it's that's not like, bad. Like it's not a bad thing, but it's like like it's a stereotype. Like stereotype. Oh, yeah, you. Twinkies. What you gonna eat, Twinkies, boys? Oh, bro, look at the bottom. That's well, a no. Apparently, an atomic bomb couldn't take a Twinkie up. What? That's what. I, there's a rumor. <laughs> I swear. Everyone. Oh, it smells good. Smell it. it. Smells like a honey, a honey cornbread. So Ryan, we're gonna play a game. Okay, I'm gonna name a food. And it's gonna be a trick question. We can, we can eat the Twinkies, by the way. Let's try these first. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. I did not know they tasted like that. <laughs> oh god. This guy's into it. Oh my god. I'm gonna name a food and you say true or false. Made in, in the States, okay? Right. The first food, Ryan, is tacos. The average person would say false. It is, sounds like a Mexican dish. So I'm gonna say false. They're not. Correct, tacos are not okay. American at okay. the original root of it, but tacos as we know it are American. Really? Like Taco Bell tacos. Those are not Those Mexican American, at yeah. all. A hamburger. No. It's not, not American? It's German. It is American. Mm. No. I'm pretty sure that the way I seen it, the, the root of a hamburger was in the year 1900. In Connecticut. That's what Who I made heard. the hamburger? But yo, I could be wrong. Like, bro, how do you actually know? This is just online. Yeah. But I thought it was because Hamburg was yeah, German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty I. sure it might be German, but. Yeah, or a German guy. But this is all about the way we know it. There you go, a little fun fact. Okay, guys, time to rate the Twinkies. Oh, Our oh, freaking oh, good. Ryan wants another one. Ryan wants no, another one. I don't, I don't. You, you get, get those away from me. Those are like, the, you know, those batch. <laughs> <laughs> it is about to be dark very soon. Bongo's out being a bozo with DJ. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, Bozo! <laughs> Yo, Bongo! <laughs> the world wants to know, are you excited to make deep dish pizza? I'm on my way! <laughs> Bob! It is now the evening time. Pan outside, pan outside. Oh my god, it's pitch black. It gets super dark here in Canada, you know? It's not like America where you guys get a beautiful evening. Ours is just dark. But. Now that the pizza is here, oh my goodness, who better to have than the baker's man himself, Bong Gizzles. Here. Bongo, what's the first time you made a pizza? How old were you? I was probably like five years old. Five? I was 25 years old. No. This guy was five years old. I hope, you know, I don't offend anybody here. We're paying homage to the Chicago deep dish. I had to include it. Bongo, it's only right. That you throw on the juju, my friend. Oh, I'm you gotta be American. Hey, Dude. he's gotta throw on the juju. Yo, this is a wavy jersey. <laughs> <laughs> so let's begin the deep dish pizza. So first things first, guys. We're just gonna lay out a little bit of flour. All right, some vibes. Okay, I approve. Too, I too approve. Much. We cheated a bit. We just bought some very fresh uh, pizza dough from a pizza shop locally. We're just gonna slowly massage it out. We have to line it out like a cake. And trust me, Bongo has one thing in experience and that's lining things up, bro. This guy <laughs> makes the biggest chocolate bars. Jeez. But Bongo's kind of aged right now at this pizza. Uh, I'm pretty aged, I'm pretty aged. I'm, I'm excited to see what you got going on here, Jeff. You know what I'm saying? Some vibes! Some vibes. 
guys, guys, you guys got the Julio up. and y'all just doing nice over here. Next up, very delicately, we're going to grab our pizza dough. Oof, oof. Kind of in the middle here. Some vibes. Oh, the deep dish pizza, bro. We gotta make Chicago proud. Bongo. Isn't that my city? Shout out to ATL yeah. though. Shout out ATL. Shout out Pittsburgh. Dude, we're pretty well. Yo, lined you're doing a very good job here, Jad. It's Thank very you. lined up. It looks fantastic, to be honest. We have our mozzarella. Ooh. Our pizza mozzarella, to Ooh, be exact. You gotta be extremely generous with this guy. Yes, yes, Ooh. yes. And we just gotta make sure it's it's evenly spread, you know? Oh my More god. More cheese, the better, bro. Okay, Trust I think me, daddy. you're so right. Okay. Oh, now you're talking. Okay, now you're talking. Now we're talking. Oh. All right. Holy what's the next step? We're gonna Jada? spread out another one because now we need to do it again. We just gotta let the force of gravity do the work. Hi, Papa. That pizza dough has never been higher in its life, bro. It's <laughs> Jad's tossing it up. Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, Bongo. I think we really stretch it out very All thin. Right. We just need to make sure this is ultra thin. Some vibe. We're gonna stack this. On top, like so. Like last time, we're just kind of let it fold in the middle. Holy smokes, holy smokes. Do the same exact technique. All right. Okay. Nice. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see if this works, Bongo. Here we go. Want to oh. get the excess, and it's already some vibes. Look at that pizza pie, baby. Oh, oh now go heavy on the sauce. Oh, baby. Right, here we go. That's the money shot. Bro, this the sauce is everything, bro. The sauce is everything, bro. Holy so smokes, right. holy smokes. He's going ham, folks. Jado? Oh, I'm going ham, folks. No sorries today, bro. This is not a Canadian thing. This guy spent way too I'm much sorry time for thinking nothing, about Chicago. Bro. What are we going for next? Oh, the vibes. The Parmigiano vibes. You see them. You see them? Yo, how far can you go with and you still <laughs> dash it on the Parmesan cheese? Oh my god. He's in the next state, folks. Okay. <laughs> pretty good to That me. looks pretty friggin' good. A shaba da ba da. Yep, yo. Bang, son. Ooh, we so want it to fast. be in the middle, bro. Alright. This is a deep dish. So we're gonna check on that after 25 minutes. We will be right back. Okay, bongo. Oh. That looks like a deep dish pizza if I've, if I've ever seen it. Ooh. Oh, be careful, Jetto. Oh. Oh, that's a nice pizza pie. There is oh! Some vibes. Some dutty vibes. Some vibes. Ooh. Bro, does this look amazing or what? Oh my goodness. Run it up. <laughs> it says run it up. Oh my oh. god, there's some more, there's some more. <laughs> a moment of truth. Oh, all right, wait, 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 turn it around, turn it around. Good job. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at the cheese vibe. That's some vibes oh. right there if I've ever seen it. Some crust vibes. Mm. Oh, some DIY. Come on. Americans, you're so lucky. Big facts. If you're from Chicago and you have access to this, bro. Bro, there is no deep dish Chicago pizza place in, in Canada. In Canada. Let alone Pretty zoo. Ottawa, where we yeah. live. Oh. oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. Some vibes. Okay. Okay. This one's a sauce box. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> bro, this guy's mm. slurping that. How was that? That's the dumbest thing I've ever had in my life. It's so good, eh? It's really good, bro. Turned out fantastic. The cheese, bro, you put the right amount of cheese, bro. The two pieces of dough aren't too thick. Some vibes. Oh my god. The dough's so soft. I'm going to Chicago. It's good? Hi. I hope I made y'all Chicago people proud. We have another snack. Come on. The, the cupcakes. The cupcakes. Yo, run me one of those, bro. These are the classic. Look at the squiggly line on it. Dude. Comment down below if you think Bongo should make a giant DIY of this. Big I personally facts. think he should, he should. Bro, a beautiful, oh. fudgy, oh. amazing treat. I had to go long ways to get this, folks. These are very hard things to do on the Child of J channel, my friends. So, oh. Oh, the inside has so much frosting. American. Three Sig DIYs, the snacks are unreal. Let's have a strong finish and let's go visit Bongo and see his giant DIY and then you guys will finally figure out what I've been talking about. You see, 
The vibe. Yo, the vibe. Bongo's DIY went zooped, bro. It was perfect, bro. It's insanely good. Comment down below another video Deshaun was in in the comments down below if you remember. <laughs> that cereal right there. It's that looks like an American cereal. It's an exclusive. So I can eat that because we're only eating American food. Literally, yo, you need to you need to eat the DIY. Oh, mm. some vibe, bro. That is amazing. I'm aged. But we're in American cereal heaven right now. We can get a bowl, so. Bro, look at all these cereals. Look at all these cereals, okay. Oh, the first cereals going in. This is the real American deal, bro. Yo, shout out Jam Cereal real quick, oh, one bro, time. Yeah, Let's go. Nice little name tag, too. Chad with a J Come on the on. box. Come on, Come fam. On, this is an amateur hour beat. Now for a sprinkle of the chocolate pebbles. Actual fruity pebbles, which I did just try, and they're amazing. Holy smokes, man. That's good. That's good. That's good. meal of the day. Now, I will say one thing about eating American foods for 24 hours. Now, I eat so much American food all day long, but I've never tried any of those traditional dishes to come out of America. And that's crazy to me because so many of you guys have probably had chicken and waffle, mac and cheese, all that stuff, the deep dish pizza. But this one is a delicacy, my friends. I want all three in one bite. Oh, you see the tricks? The chocolate pebbles. And the free pebbles. Some oh. friggin' vibes. Ooh! Holy smokes. This is what you guys have access to. You guys get to eat this every day. Oh, you see that big bite? Oh. Mm. oh. Like I said earlier in the video, if this video gets to 15,000 thumbs up, I will do another country's foods. Comment down below, should I do Mexican, English, Canadian even maybe? Comment down below and I will do that one next. Thank you so much for watching. Have the best day of your lives and we'll see you in the next video. Peace!